So at this point, I hope everyone's on some type of debt journey. Uh, the important thing is that we stay on path now. Guys, being organized, very important, as simple as leaving a note by the door. Hello everyone, welcome to Step On Finance. Uh, today we're talking about being organized, keeping a reminder by the front door, apps, whatever, we're gonna get into it all today. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you hit that notification bell so you know when I post videos. Gonna try to post every Monday and Thursday. And uh, guys, give me a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing on the videos. And if you're new and you're just starting your debt journey, uh, at the end of the video, I'm gonna have the first uh, video of my four video series, uh, what we did step by step to get out of debt. Guys, if uh, just bear with me on those videos. I am starting to get a little bit better uh, talking to the video, trying to mess around with some lighting. Uh, I'm not trying to go extravagant here with the lighting and everything yet. So I'm trying to make the video quality a little bit better. Uh, but for now, uh, those first four videos, I, I know I talked over myself a lot. Just, just bear with me through those videos. Uh, apps, I use two apps. I use the Checklist app and the Checkbook app. Very simplistic apps. Checkbook app, uh, you know, I put my bills in there by due dates. And when you pay the bill, you click the box, it puts a check mark in there. Uh, I know I paid it for the month. You know, it's very simple. Uh, when we go grocery shopping throughout the week, I'll just start putting stuff in a, uh, in a separate checklist. And when I go grocery shopping, I when I put it in the cart, I check the box and I know I have it. So very simple app to use and it, it really you know works for me a lot. Uh, the checkbook app is just a log, uh, just like your old log book, uh, but I have it on my phone. You put a starting balance in. When you get paid, put it in there. When you pay a bill, you know, you put it in there and you detox it. So it just keeps keeps that balance for you uh, instead of you doing it manually. Uh, budgeting apps, if you followed my uh, videos, uh, you know I wrote everything down on notebook paper. I did not use budgeting apps. Uh, there are a ton out there. Truebill, uh, someone told me they were gonna try that one out. And uh, Dave Ramsey's is Every Dollar app. Uh, guys, if you use those apps, leave it in uh, any app. Put it in the comment section below and let everybody know how you like it or dislike it. Uh, and when you're using a budgeting app, if you're new to it and it's confusing you, guys, you want to keep things simple. Maybe go to that spreadsheet on the computer or go to the notebook paper. Uh, when I started doing notebook paper, it was tedious at first, but it just became second nature. You know, you're, you're just doing it and everything, you know, like I said, once you do something for a while, it just it comes, it becomes a lot easier. Uh, and plus, when I write things down, it just, you know, I swear, it just gives you more of a mental note when you're writing it down. So uh, you guys choose how you want to, uh, but there are a ton of budgeting apps out there. Uh, a mail slot. Uh, I know people aren't receiving a lot of mail as of lately, but uh, when we started this, we had a mail slot with every day of the week. We would put the uh, bill in the slot where it was due at. So we knew there was a bill coming up. Just another way, if you guys are still mailing bills out, uh, to do something to that nature. Uh, guys, also remember, when you're paying bills online, beware of those uh, fees. Uh, there's some people that charge $2, $2.50. Those fees add up. Uh, it's a lot cheaper to put a postage stamp and just write out it old style and throw it in the mailbox. Uh, you know, I really, I, I do. I'm, anything that charges me a fee, it's, it, it's getting mailed and they could wait for their money. Uh, I'm not paying $2.50 to use an online fee or to use an online process. So I'll mail it to them. Another convenient way is using auto pay. Uh, I love using auto pay. Uh, you know it's coming out by the due date and you just deduct it from your checking account and you're paid. Uh, the downfall to using auto pay is if you don't have the money in there, now you're dealing with overdraft fees. So I really highly recommend to be ahead on your bills before you start using auto pay. Uh, I'm a half a month ahead on my bills and uh, that's why I talk in this series of four videos about paying your mortgage the previous month. So this is July when I'm filming this. My mortgage was paid the last week of June. Uh, guys, I'm right with you. We, I used to pay my mortgage on that 15th, 16th, the last possible day. So when you're in your debt program and you're doing your budget, you wanna try to start working that mortgage back in your uh, schedule of paying and try to get it to a week prior. Um, you know, it's it's something you guys could do once you're being disciplined with your money and you're spending differently and 
you know, you're on track to getting these bills paid and getting the debts paid off. Uh, a whiteboard. Take a whiteboard like this. Uh, we have a calendar whiteboard in the kitchen. And on the calendar, you could mark your due dates on there, you know, uh, whatever bills are due and hang it up. Uh, you know, just like that uh, reminder by the front door, you know, just it's a visual thing. I truly believe in them. You're just going to keep seeing it, keep seeing it, and it's just going to keep reminding you. And you guys could do a ton of things with whiteboards, inspirational quotes. You know, um, you pay off a car, write it huge on there. Car paid off, big smiley face. Guys, get excited about this stuff. Uh, individual accounts with a big red X. Uh, guys, if you're married, pulling from two accounts is really going to overcomplicate things. I take care of the bills in our house, and I would not even imagine what it would be like to pull from two accounts and have deposits in two accounts, one in my wife's name, one in my name. So if I had a question, I can't even call a question that account without her authorization. Uh, you want to talk about a headache. Guys, organization, get a joint account. Take those two accounts, put them in the one. Deposit in the one, withdraw from one. I promise you it's going to be a lot easier. Uh, file drawer, same as the mail. I don't know if we get a lot of uh, paperwork anymore, people getting everything electronically now. But sometimes you print those stuff off, you know, W-2s. Uh, if you're a tenant and you got lease agreements and stuff like that, maybe, you know, keep it in a file drawer instead of just throwing it in a box somewhere. You know, that way everything's nice and organized. Uh, and the last thing, a fireproof safe. Uh, you know, I'm talking just one of your little uh, fireproof safes that are like $40, just enough to keep some important papers in that you do not want to get damaged, lost, or stolen. Uh, I'm talking, you know, uh, social security cards, uh, you know, if you have your house paid off deeds to the house, and when you pay off that car, your title to your car, stuff like that, you do not want to get stolen, lost, or, you know, damaged. So you want to get a nice little uh, firebox for important papers. Uh, believe me, I know our last house, we had a house fire. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure that you guys are protecting your important uh, papers and valuables. Um, that's it for that. Uh, guys, please get a joint account. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, remember, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just someone that got excited about whenever we started seeing all the progress that we've made over the years. And I like helping people. I want people to do the same thing I did. Uh, guys, you can do it. Believe me, you can do it. Uh, so until next time, I'll see you guys.